TJ Hyman here. Today we're going to talk about books that are strange and beautiful. All of these are YA novels that deserve a much wider reach. The first one that I'm going to talk about is The Things She's Seen by Amberlynn and Ezekiel Quay Molina. The authors are a brother and sister team that are writers in Australia where the story is also set. I originally received this as an advanced reader copy, but I probably would have found this book on my own anyway. It is a very unique tale. There are two girls that have been murdered and the only witness can only speak in riddles because she is so scarred by what she has seen. Um, they've all been silenced in their own way from telling the truth that is so much uglier than what it first appears. It's an incredibly beautifully written book and I would call it a true work of literature. The second book that I'm going to talk about is Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Fama. This story is told in two time periods. It is part ghost story, part murder mystery, and I would even say part mermaid, Brothers Grimm kind of tale. Hester is a young woman that has a lot of big dreams, but none of them can include love, family, or children because her family has a curse on it. And the curse is that any of the women, once they've had a child within days, dies. The book is strange and at times tragic. It's like beauty found in ashes and love in peril. Um, I'm not usually for the fantasy type stories, but this one completely had me in its grip. Now, the last one I'm going to talk about is actually my favorite of the list that I'm talking about today, and it's actually become one of my favorite books of all time. The Curse of Crow Hollow by Billy Coffey. It's a southern gothic kind of style book complete with a witch, a ghost, and a curse. The only thing that's about that makes this book even better is listening to Gabe Wicks read it. He has this smoky southern quality to his voice that reminds me of being a kid and going to see my granny in Tennessee and listening to my uncles tell stories on summer nights on her porch. The story is about mountain folk that all know Alvaretta Graves, who is either a witch or an insane woman, depending on who you talk to, that lives deep in the woods on the mountain. On the death of her husband, due to the circumstances surrounding that I won't give away, um, she cursed the town. And because of that, there were people that died at the time. Several years later, those people's children are now teenagers and they go up into the woods. They end up having kind of a violent altercation with her where she curses them. When they come back to the town, an illness that nobody can understand starts creeping through the town one person after another. The tale unfolds as a superstitious fol folklore kind of tale and it's beautiful in only the way that those kind of stories can be. I absolutely love this story. As always, you can find my books on amazon.com and you can email me at bjhyman2112 at gmail.com. Until next time, happy reading.